Hey guys, in this video, I want to go and cover the dangers of actually jumping into software as a service when you don't have a job and you're not making any money. Okay. Shout out to everybody that's in here. Thank you for watching this video. I actually made this video before, but I wanted to do an updated version because I'm not happy with the previous video that I did. And I think it's better to go in and, and you know, cover it how it's supposed to be. Okay, shout out to Idan Masaz. Go follow him on X, right? He basically said, I fucked up, burned through 18,000 in five months, got about $20,000 left. I should have gone to Asia instead of Canada. If you're living on savings, do not move to the West. The same money I would have taken me 10X further, right? Made no money while I've been here, just watching my bank account balance shrink. My X account is dead because I barely tweet. Years of growth gone. Meanwhile, some people are making millions per month by selling some stupid course on how to get rich. I hate how unfair life can be. I don't think I've been this low in my entire life. I don't fucking know, man. So confused, right? And this is something that happens all the time, but a lot of people don't share that. And I want to say thank you to Idan because sharing this brings you know, light to the situations like this. Okay. This happens all the time. People jump into building software as a service. They see the hype. They see everybody jumping in. And sometimes we take a risk that can really pay off big time, but sometimes you could catch an L and a lot of people don't think about the L's. They only think about the W's. Okay. Now, Idan did comment on the previous video that I did and he was like, man, not cool, man. <laughs> Clearly, you don't know me well. You probably just stumble upon this post. Assume I've been working on Formly for years without success. Also saying I'm now homeless is a bit much, which is true, right? Guys, I'm not in the business of bringing anybody down. I'm not in the business of, you know, shitting on people. That's not what I do, right? What I try to do here is help people out, show them the good, the bad, right? And again, this is a situation that is a cautionary tale, okay, for anybody, all right? And again, Idan, if you share this online, it's because you either want somebody to help you out with what you're doing, give you advice, give you some tips, or maybe for someone to see this and say, damn, don't do it this way, right? I mean, clearly what you said even in the post was, man, I wish I would have went to Thailand or would have went somewhere outside, you know, of like maybe not doing it here in the West, right? Canada, United States, maybe Europe, right? Might not be a good run, okay, um, for some people. And maybe going to Thailand, going to the Philippines or Bali or whatever, shoot, go to Colombia, right? Your money could probably go further. So yeah, that's the whole topic in here, man. Again, I do believe that a lot of people is jumping into these things and they're not seeing what could happen, okay? Yes, Idan is not homeless yet, okay? But if you're saying, hey man, I'm down to about $20,000 and you don't have no money coming in, that's where the next step is. You get what I'm saying? Like, and again, this is just a cautionary tale that I think is very important for people to know about. These things can happen. Believe me, Idan, you're not the only one that's going through hell right now, okay? There's people that right now, they can't even find a job. There's people that are jumping into building applications that might not be popular, might not have to reach, might not have a bunch of different variables that help somebody become successful. And sometimes if you just jump in like that, like shit, you could catch an L, all right? So I think it's very important that people learn from this and have a plan, okay? I personally, like I said in my previous video, I've been doing this shit since like 2011, okay? I'm an online trapper, right? What does that mean? I'm trapping out the bandwidth. I've always made money online from everything from, you know, selling on eBay, selling on Amazon, you know, learning how to code so I could go in and sell my own products, learning about affiliate marketing, right? But then from there, I always had a job. I always had something that was backing me up because guess what? I don't want to be in that situation. I don't think that I want to be in a situation where I, I'm worried about if I'm going to pay my bills or I'm going to freaking eat that day. I don't want to deal with that. Okay. That's just me. I, I, I like to keep it safe. 
<laughs> you get what I'm saying? Blame me for trying to keep it safe. You get what I'm saying? But it's worked out for me pretty well, which is, you know what? I always have a plan B, plan C, plan D. Okay, plan A is the goal, but if that doesn't work, there's plan B, there's plan C, and plan D, and shit, and if that don't work, we're going to have a plan E, but I'm going to start noticing that early on, okay? So again, that's what I wanted to come out and, and share to the community here, because there I'm seeing a lot of people, trust me, I'm seeing a lot of people that hit me up, yo, Joe, I'm, I'm about to quit my job because I'm about to start building my software as a service, I'm like, bro... Is that software as a service bringing you in enough money for you to quit your job? And then they'd be like, no, they, it, it doesn't. But shit, I made my first $500. Like, <laughs> that's not enough for you to quit your job. That's not enough for you to just be like, yo, I'm just going to do this thing full time. So that's what I wanted to bring light to in this video. Again, I'm deleting the old video because it's also too, you know, the dude is not homeless. You get what I'm saying? The dude is not homeless. And it's not right that the the the, the shit says that, um, which I think he's right about that. You get what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't want to have, if you're not homeless yet, you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to say, yo, you homeless. You know what I mean? Shout out to him, right? It's good sport, right? Um, <laughs> it was hilarious because I seen the streets like, damn, I woke up today. Apparently, I'm homeless. Wow. Anyone got a couch I could crash on? <laughs> All we can do is laugh about this shit, right? Um, again, guys, my 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 goal here on YouTube is to bring like bring the the positive, the negative of a lot of different things that happens in development. And this is one of the reasons why I rarely do like a reaction video or even share anything about anybody. Um, and probably whenever I do a reaction video, I'm just gonna read the tweet or read the blog or whatever like the person whoever it is is irrelevant you know what i'm saying um and i think it's it's the messaging what's important okay now again you know you gotta always remember when you go in and you put stuff public out here somebody's gonna read it somebody's gonna tweet it somebody's gonna retweet it somebody's gonna go in and post about it especially when it's so shocking right you're at the last $20,000, right? And you're like trying to figure out how you're going to survive out here. That's a shocking story. That's a cautionary tale. That's some shit that I don't want nobody that watches my channel or anybody that's in this space to have to go through. Okay? I think it's very important that we highlight this. And I want to say thank you to Idan for sharing this because I think not everyone shares this type of shit. There's people that's out here going through the same thing and they're acting like they're doing so great online. But you, know, you get what I'm saying? Like, I think it's very important to have like, you know, you know, people that actually go in and just keep it real. So again, shout out to Yudan. Go support him. Um, support what he's doing on his uh, company. What's the name? I think it's like Formly. Um, I think that's the name of it, right? Formly SO. Go check it out. Right, go support the guy. Uh, pretty cool dude, right? I follow him uh, for a reason, right? I like this post, you know. Um, again, <laughs> my fault, bro, right? <laughs> dude is like, yo, I'm not homeless yet. Please don't count me out. <laughs> again, so shout out to him man, for sharing this. But I do believe that anybody watching this, guys, I think it's very important. Please jump into this thing with a plan come in with a plan b plan c plan d plan e um definitely don't just jump in if you don't got no bread okay because a lot of times we see people that's online that they do it but they have a money saved they have you know trust fund babies like there are some dudes that they're not living the same lifestyle that we are living right and we go in and we see that on social media and be like, whoa, look at this guy. He just quit his job and he just popped up in, in Bali. And, and then you don't know his background. You don't know what he saved. You don't know where he getting his money. And a lot of people don't share that. A lot of people don't share how they're making their bread and how they're bringing their money in, right? And you show up and be like, hey, I'm going to jump into this, try to do it, you know, just because. And you think you're going to have the same success. As this individual is like, shit might not go as planned. 
So I think it's very important that we highlight that. All right. And yes, <laughs> for anybody watching this, this is what I do in every video. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a tutorial, it could be a, a blog, it could be me reacting to something. I'm always going to say, by the way, if you want to learn how to code, come to codingphase.com. This is a service we provide. Okay. Now I know some people that just watching me. I think Idan this is the first time that he watches me. He's like, Hey man, um, even in the comment, which was hilarious to me. Um, <laughs> he's like, Hey man, the real issue here, da da da. Uh, it also pretty obvious that this video was just to an excuse to promote your own service at the end, bro. I've been doing this shit for seven plus years. I don't need your story to go in and, and, promote my shit you get what i'm saying my shit sells by itself i don't have an issue with people coming to my service because people are looking for the service you know what i'm saying but i do always promote my service at the end in every video i could go in and be like hey i'm hanging out my son was just born by the way go check out codingphase.com like i could be on my deathbed and i'm like dying right there it's like Hey guys, they about to unplug me, but don't forget to go to codingphase.com because it's mine. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Because it's mine and we built a solid business that really get results. And we've been doing this shit for so long, bro, that it will be stupid of me to go in and not tell people of my own platform. But it has nothing to do with your video. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with your story. Okay. This is the same shit in my same format that I've been doing for the last seven years, bro. Um, but again, we are deleting the, the last video because I don't, you know, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I don't want to go in and, and, and uh, downplay anybody or say somebody's homeless when they're not homeless yet. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> don't count them out. You get what I'm saying? We're not trying to count you out, my guy. Uh, but again, much love and respect. Go check him out. Show him some love on X, go follow him, show him a lot of love and, and, and support and wish him luck with his project. Okay. Hopefully it blows up. Hopefully you get to continue to grow. And again, if you feel some type of way, my guy, look, I'm not trying to, to hurt you or discredit you or to bring you down or bring your energy down. I want to use your story as a cautionary tale that people got to be careful yeah, you might have some extra bread, but there's a dude right now that literally has like $500 he made and he's like, yo, I'm quitting my job. I ain't showing up no more. I just got my first sale. And in reality, they go in and don't have success and now they don't have a job and now they're really homeless. Okay. So anyways, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Take care. I'll see you guys later. Peace.